It's your boy Mark LaFleur checking in right here at the Wake and Bake Morning Show. I appreciate everybody for tuning in and being up early. Check in. It's your boy Mark LaFleur. I am right here with this lovely lady, Alana Guillory. She's an actress. Uh, you can tell the people a little bit about yourself. Okay, guys. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so I am a budding actress out of Augusta, Georgia, but I'm originally from St. Petersburg, Florida. So what up, Florida folks? How y'all doing? Hey, shout out St. Pete. Shout out my boy, Rue 24K. <laughs> yeah. So um, I recently have a new movie that just hit the streets called Mama Jones. All right, it's a suspense thriller. Okay. Right. It's, I think it's pretty good. It's an independent film, and it is filmed by um, the local talents of Augusta. CTC Productions, um, J. Paul and Demi Guys, shout outs, shout outs to my co stars, um, uh, Octavius Boyd and Nidia Malazinski. Um, so the, the movie is it's different. Okay. It's, you know, it's, um, it's a little emotional, it's a dramatic movie. Okay. But I think people will like it. I don't want to give too much away, but you know, it's kind of a naive girl who comes to get involved with the wrong sorts of people because she loves a man and things go horribly wrong for her. So. Okay. so is this your first movie role? Yes, it is my first movie role. And man, was it something. <sighs> it, it was nerve wracking. The first time that camera cut on, okay. I didn't really know what to do. But um, I slowly got into it. Okay, so how many days did it take, uh, take the movie? Um, I want to say all together, it took about six, six to seven months to finish the movie. Um, so pretty long project. Yeah, it's a long project. The movie's um about an hour and a half, I believe, or close okay. to it. So it's a full length feature film. Um, but it, it was very meticul meticulously shot, and um, you know everybody really took their time with it. If there was something that you know didn't work out, we went and we shot it. We tried to make it as perfect as possible, as entertaining as possible for everybody out there. So, uh, how was it uh, working with the other uh, cast of the show? Oh man, it was fun. Like, um, the cast we had were just nothing but positive vibes, motivating each other. We helped each other out out, out a lot. Um, being that it's my first time, and for a lot of the cast, it wasn't their first time. Like, some of the people were on Ozark, some people had already had another movie. Okay. You know, so I, I felt like, well, was I going to be good enough? But, you know, I, I put my all into it and I was studying or still am studying as I'm doing it so you know it's a learning and growth process but I think I gave y'all a pretty good performance. Oh, okay so uh, how could the people uh, check in to uh, check out the movie? Okay so um, the movie will be on major streaming networks um, in September but for right now the link is in my Facebook and it is also in my Instagram you can rent the movie and or buy it um, so just go, you kind of got to visit my book to go and check it out, but, um, it will be on like Amazon and other major services in September. So you'll be able to Google Mama Jones and check it out. Okay. So with taping the movie, uh, did you have to go back and do a lot of retakes or you know, <laughs> a lot of bloopers? <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there is like an intimate scene or a slightly intimate scene in Mama Jones. Let's say the first time we shot that scene, oh my God. I don't know, it is so much harder to be sexy on the scene. Like, I know people looking at it and think, oh, you're so naturally pretty, but it's really hard. It's really, I, I realize how goofy I look trying to be sexy because I am not a sexy person. Well, it doesn't lose it, not natural at all. <laughs> so you're also in a series, correct? Yes, I am. So. Um, Love and Hip Hop, Augusta is a parody okay. off of, you know, Love and Hip Hop, you know, or whatever. And we all play these inflated personalities that, of these crazy celebrities or people who think they're celebrities or important producers or whatever. So that's pretty good. Oh, okay. So how did you come out uh, to get into that project? You know, actually, a friend of mine was like, hey, you know, they're casting for this. And I was like, I don't know. 
I've never done comedy before, so I really wasn't sure if I could really pull it off. I'm like, Lana, no, you're naturally funny. This is your element. So, um, you know, I, I I put in an audition tape. They gave me a call back. I had to create my character from scratch, but the more I started looking at love and hip hop, the more I was like, yeah, I can do this. So um, some of my inspirations were definitely, um, uh, what's her name, the Puerto Rican princess, um, uh, 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 Jocelyn Hernandez, Cardi B, a um, little bit of Mimi Plus, you know what I'm saying, uh, Erica Mena. I love you, Erica, but you can't sing, B. You can't sing. That's okay, but you know, what is this for y'all? Okay, so with that character, tell people a little bit about your character. Okay, so my character for the Peanut Butter Princess. First off, she is a professional ad libber. I mean, she really got the hot libs on the street. You know that? Ew, she came up with that. Yeah. You know, -da 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 -da, that's her. You know what I'm saying? She be making these celebrities. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, but she is a breakout. She's trying to be a breakout star with her own career. But the thing is, the only thing she know how to do is ad lib and b box. But she can't even b box. Like, she don't b box uh, uh, hip hop. She b box e and b electric music. Uh, what is it? Yeah, the, yeah. EDM. I'm sorry. She be like EDM. You know, she a techno b boxer. <laughs> and she can switch it up. She can boot. She can do a slow. Yeah. She can. She got a slow R and B. <laughs> she, she got it, bro. She hey. got it. Hey, y'all got it. She, she gonna be a hit. Peanut butter princess. Hey, she is the shit. I'm talking about for real. I checked out the show. With it. <laughs> I put up a clip on my uh, Instagram on the way to make more show and everybody was fucking, uh, <laughs> I got nothing but smiling faces and laughing emojis. Hey, you definitely, definitely get into that problem. So how did you get into acting all together? Okay, so um, I've always wanted to be an actress and I just never had the courage to do it, you know. Um, I always had stage fright. I get nervous even now. I'm like, oh my God, my stomach hurt. Jesus. Just to get on the camera. But um, I got into, I looked at some of, a couple of the celebrities that I liked, like Halle Berry and, um, and other things. And I realized they got into acting through modeling. And so I started off being a model, doing um, um, hair and makeup and beauty and runway. And, and I figured if I can get up and front of two or three hundred people in a gold fishnet outfit with a afro on my head, I can do this. <laughs> so, so after a while, you know, it just kind of worked up the courage to just find an open call and go to the open call and just give them all the raw potential that I had, whether I failed or whether I did well, and it, it worked out for me. But I am, I am a horrible, horrible model. Like, <laughs> I am the worst model. I am not the worst at all. I've seen a few of your pictures and they, I mean, you would, you would never be able to tell. I mean, they look professional to me. I mean, they, you know, it does take time in a lot of, um, a lot of shoots, okay? <laughs> a lot, but, um, you know, just like acting, I did try to give my, I do try to give my modeling a hundred percent. I don't think I'm as good as a lot of people out there are naturally just natural to them but I don't think modeling is my niche no. I think not I don't think I know that acting is my niche and it was a good segue into getting into what I want to do into life and I met a lot of good people along the way so. okay well we're checking in right here with the Wake Bake show I got the beautiful uh, actress Alana Guillory right here and we're gonna have more for y'all right here, so y'all stay tuned to the Wake and Bake Morning Show. Yo, 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 we back, we live, we lit. I got my DJ, no reason in the building. Yeah, 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 yeah. All the crew done checked in. Got my boy backyard, cuz in the building. And I'm right here with the lovely, beautiful actress, Alana Guillory. What up, what up, what up, what up? Talk about uh, some of your experiences is growing up in service. Oh man! So um, I I joined the army in the early uh, 
thousands or whatever during the surge. Um, so it was a little bit different than what they have going on now because everything was really war driven. It was known as the middle of Iraqi freedom and everything else. So, um, you know, things moved a lot faster, things were a lot harder, they were a lot stricter, and it was all about like, war training. Like, you're gonna be there, you're gonna be boots on the ground, what you gotta do. But um, I think the service was the best thing that ever happened to me. You know, um, it it really allowed me to grow as a person and get experience that I needed to, um, just the experience and cultural experience that I needed to, to, to just be a well-rounded adult, I think. Um, yeah, I get to meet a lot of people from a lot of different places and experience a lot of different walks of life, places that I've never, before people, type of people I've never talked to before. You know, when you're in that uniform, you don't realize where people come from. Like, I'm sitting on a bus with somebody who literally was living on a park bench and got up and went to the recruiter's office and okay. whatever, but then I don't know that because we all have the same uniform. Yeah. So, you know, you get to experience their life and their situations. And, and you know, it was, it's a really good experience. So, if you're ever thinking about it, go ahead and do it. And they pay you every day. They yeah. do. <laughs> DJ No Reason, you was part of uh, U.S. Service Month. I was. Yes, I was. I guess she changed. All right, so she did. That's what's up. We got, we got a lot of people uh, that's around, that's served the country. Uh, so how do you feel about our president answer right now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Okay, so. I'm gonna try to say this without offending most of the audience, but I, don't, I really don't think he, I will offend most of the audience, but our president is a complete and utter dumbass. Yeah, right. You know, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, um, but he is our president, so hopefully with a lot of prayer, okay. we can survive him. Okay. You know, I mean, sometimes you get some good ones, sometimes you don't. I mean, President Nixon wasn't exactly the fucking best. You know what I'm saying? But, um, Know, hopefully this next person that um, gets the presidency will will be better or will at least try to fix some of the things that he's broken you know I mean I, I realize he's probably not as bad for everybody as you know but he fucking sucks yo <laughs> it's like what is it he's on the podium he sounds like a damn flashcards like you just get every other word. You don't know what he's talking about. And I don't. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, how does your family feel about you and your first movie? Are they like all this saying, like, yeah, that's my daughter. She did that. Okay. Yeah. Look, my mom around here. <laughs> my mom around here talking about the type of house I'm about to build her because I'm gonna be on. You know what I'm saying? My brothers and sisters is like, put me on with Tyler Perry. Yo, I ain't even on with Tyler Perry. Yeah. Like, you know, <laughs> but everybody's really excited and supportive of, um, of me and my family. Like, they always support me in a lot of stuff. I'm one of those people that kind of fly by to see their own pants. So, like, I wake up one morning, I'm like, I'm going to be an astronaut. Like, dead ass. And I'll be like, I'm going to see what NASA got going on. I'm going to see what I can do. You know, and my family be like, I, you know, <laughs> like, but they be behind me 100%. So, you know, shit. Why not? Why not try to be as many things as you want to be before 10 o'clock in the morning? Absolutely. So as far as uh, your career, where, where are you trying to take it? Well, I, I'm i kind of just letting the doors open the way they you know open because I found that you can start off with a, a definite goal. Definitely want to be da, 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 and then that don't end up the way it is. You know what? I'd be like, nah, bro, I got something completely different. But it might lead you into that. So, But my, my goal is to, to be a big name someday. I mean, for you to go to the movies, get your popcorn, get your overpriced hot dog, and watch me. Because I'm going to be in the movie theater watching me, too. But if it never happens, I would love to just be in the movie theater. You know, I love to just make independent films and be able to play them every Christmas. No more Christmas with the cranks. We gonna watch my movie every Christmas, okay? <laughs> so do you see yourself writing your own movie? Uh, 
Well, I I am exploring those options. Um, I'm gonna start with something small, just a, a little short mini film, and see how it goes from there. I like horror, and um, I like feature features. I know I'm a super nerd, okay. super nerd. Like one of my actual real goals is to play the villain. Okay, I feel like Freddie and Jason just live forever. All right, like they live forever. It doesn't matter. Right? It was I want to be the next Freddie and Jason. I know that's a weird aspiration to have. I can, I can, I can see, <laughs> I can see that in the works because uh, we don't have too many black horror films, and and I, I think horror films that involve a woman as a killer that would probably be real some real 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 hype. Like, they have that um one movie. What's it called? I think it's a mom with Octavia Spencer in it, where she is like some psycho who traps kids in a basement and like tortures them to death. But that's like one. That's it. Like I don't really know any other. You know what I'm saying? Especially women of color. You know, you get, you know, the crazy Kathy Bates movie. Uh, what was the Misery when she rules the rabbit or something? But no, I want to be like, I want to be the psycho murderer. Where's your skin on your face? And you're gonna be like, you know, thirty years from now, watching that shit on Halloween and talking, she played that shit out of that role. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully, you know, maybe I'll write my own, write my own cycle killer flick or creature feature or something, That'd and star in it.
Y'all checking into the Wake and Bake Morning Show. We got more for y'all. Hey, man, we got plenty of treats for y'all today. But hey, we're going to get into the mix with my man DJ No Reason. Let's get it.